Welcome to the channel guys, my name is Nelson. Welcome to Teal's Auto Sale. Today we're gonna be looking at a 2011 Chevy Equinox. does have some scratches some dings here and there so you're gonna have to decide what is too much wear and tear Inside really doesn't have that much wear and tear. Let's start her up, see how she sounds. like the key I really like the ignition just turn it once let it go and boom it lights up seatbelt looks a little odd looks like it's missing a piece here and this one does have 148,000 miles so it's about to hit 150,000 miles so it's the same thing if this is a deal breaker for you well then that's on you you got to make that decision drive and we're going to try and figure out how reliable this vehicle really is this is our bumpy road ba -ba 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 -ba. this is all around it's got nothing big nothing to that i would say oh wow this needs to be addressed I don't feel anything so far. If you guys have a Chevy Equinox, the older Chevy Equinox or this newer body style, even the newest body style, let me know what you guys think about the Chevy Equinox. Let me know if you like it. Let me know if you don't like it. 2.4 four-cylinder motor. And it, it's got the power to move this. This is just the two-wheel drive. If it was the four-wheel drive, it'd be a little heavier. But with 148,000 miles on that motor, it's really moving. Beats. Oh my God, the seats are awesome, they got. Even if they're cloth, they are in very, very good shape. They've held up very good. We have heated seats. We have cloth heated seats. I think I feel it already. I don't know, my butt might just be warm, but cloth heated seats, that's really cool. And we do have a reverse camera up here awesome so my experience with a chevy equinox we had a 2005 chevy equinox and it was a really really nice equinox i don't remember 100 how it drove it drove fine and i think it had already like 200,000 miles so i know the chevy equinox can run for a very long time but it had a check engine light for the gas cap and it had it for a very long time until we got the original ac delco gas cap from the dealer had to do the head gasket because the head gasket was seeping just a little tiny bit of antifreeze and we, we replaced all the hoses water pump everything's like where is this leak coming from ended up being the head gasket cost us about seven hundred dollars to redo the head gasket to i mean redo the heads and put a new head gasket on so not too bad but we did have it for a very long time i would say like four or five years and that was the older body style equinox Let's go. It, it's got some, it's got some kick. 
to me. I, I couldn't go too fast. There's a guy right in front of me. He's got some kick though to it. It sounds good. Just having some fun. Motor is good on power. The transmission is shifting just fine. You know, there's no delay, there's no slip, there's no jump. So a Chevy Equinox with 148,000 miles seems right now to be pretty reliable. But we've had, I've had a couple of these. So my experience also with the, with the newer Chevy Equinox is, uh, I don't know, they're almost like a 50-50. Um, you know, it sucks to say something like that, especially since we're selling one, but they really are kind of like a 50-50. I've had motor problems with them. I've had transmission problems with them. I've had electrical problems with them. So just, uh, <laughs> just everything everywhere. It's always kind of something different. All the service to it, so we did the motor oil, the transmission oil. It's got brand new tires. Completely cleaned out, detailed, headlights done. We're a small dealer. It's just me, my mom, and my dad. And we run the entire dealership. Just do our absolute best. We do our best with the cars. We do our best with the service. We do our, that's it. We just do our best. I don't promise anyone anything. We've been driving for about 15 minutes now. You can see the temperature's good. We still got some gas. That four cylinder on it, that 2.4 gets 32 miles on the freeway. And I gotta tell you, that is, that is really, that is really impressive. That's like Honda status. <laughs> it's just not a very fast car. And I can't I can't say that it's not fast. It's the motor is there. It's there, but it kind of takes a while to to I don't know. I don't even know how to say it. It's braking very well. Oh, I still have that AC on. And I gotta tell you the AC feels really nice. Let's see, I think let's look at our controls here real quick. So this is gonna be our mode. Here, I think I believe that's phase, and then we actually have another storage here. And I believe this has a little bit of wear too, it doesn't hold up right. <laughs> so, I'm not sure if that's a deal breaker for you or not. Feels nice, crisp, very loud, and it's got a really great system. I believe it's a Pioneer, so that's awesome that it comes with a really nice system. All these cool buttons on the steering wheel. We didn't get to test the cruise control. No, I'll see if I can do that right now. And then we have uh, some buttons here for the phone. And I believe this car does have Bluetooth. If it doesn't have Bluetooth to play songs, it at least has it so you can answer your phone. Inside our Equinox, and let's talk Carfax. You can see here, it is the Equinox LT. It is a 2.4 front wheel drive. No accidents reported to Carfax. Two previous owners, eight service history records. Ah, personal vehicle, last owned in California, 143,000 miles, and now we have 148,000. First owner owned it five years, second owner five years. And this is a pretty good Carfax, except for the miles. It looks like the second owner put about 22,000 miles a year, but you don't get to 22,000 miles a year in this condition without service and without taking care of something. Enjoying this Chevy Equinox, it's got the right amount of style the cloth seats it's not the fully loaded one but it has a lot of features to it it's got the rear camera it's got the sensors in the back will beep at you when you get too close to something you own something there's things that you're gonna like the things that you're not gonna like eight chevy usually pretty good but v6 four cylinder chevy mm, not so good i'm telling you they're they're around the middle it's like a 50 50 what's gonna happen with this vehicle it's either gonna last you a very long time and run 150,000 miles like this one has or it's just not i know they have sensor problems all kinds of different kinds of problems but as long as you keep up the maintenance you know you, you should have a good reliable vehicle and this one has 150,000 miles it's got a good carfax obviously someone took very good care of it it's in excellent condition all the buttons are working so all the windows work the video thank you guys so much for watching 
let's get let's get 20 likes i'm still going for 20 likes and 500 subscribers i gotta get 500 by the end of the year i'm gonna bust my tail to do it 